Hi everyone, welcome to the 12 Days of Christmas Wonder podcast. I'm so excited you're here, and thank you to all those who have already subscribed. If you have not done so yet, please hit the subscribe button down below. Christmas is 12 days away, and what better way to get ready than with some Christmas stories? Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus is one of my favorite holiday stories. It reminds us there is more to Santa than a kind old man who brings presents. He's an idea that offers hope and kindness to the world. While much has changed since Virginia sent her letter to the sun, much has also remained the same. There comes a time in all children's lives when they want to know the truth about Santa. And most parents don't really want to spoil the magic. That's what makes Francis Parcella's church's words to Virginia so endearing. They still hold true today. I have made some minor tweaks to some of the words and the phrases so that younger listeners can understand the story. I hope you enjoyed this telling of Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. In 1897, Virginia O'Hanlon, a eight-year-old girl in New York City, was struggling with the truth about Santa Claus. Her friends had been telling her that there was no such thing, and she wasn't quite sure what to believe. When Virginia asked her father what the truth was about Santa, he told her to ask the editors of The Sun. He said, if you see it in the sun, it is so. So Virginia sat down and wrote a letter. Dear editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says, if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? When Francis Parcella's church first received her letter, he was a little hesitant to answer it. He wasn't quite sure what to say. And then he sat down and he wrote a response. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except what they see. They think that if they can't comprehend it with their little minds, then it can't be. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant, in his intellect as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist and you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there was no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there was no Virginia's. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance, to make this existence tolerable. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But, even if they did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus. But that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in the world. You may tear apart the baby's rattle to see what makes the noise inside, but there is a veil covering the unseen world, which not the strongest man, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived, could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, and romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the heavenly beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia, in all this world there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus? Thank God he lives, and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. The end. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to you joining me tomorrow for our next Christmas story. It's been a pleasure spending time with you.